Would everyone please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Today is Friday, April 21st, 2017. I'm Marcy Minigash. And I'm Caleb Zwaydu. And this is another Fearless Friday edition of your Panther Pride. Let's start things off with the word of the day. Today's word is eclectic and has the meaning made up of or combining elements from varying sources. The restaurant's menu was eclectic and included foods from a number of ethnic groups and cultures. Join Helping Hands. We are a new club engaging in helping our community and helping students receive student service learning hours. We meet today and every Friday during LAP in room 3301. Come join us for a life-changing experience. Join us in a new, club, uh, a new club called Pure Vibes. This club focuses on building and supporting healthy living styles through fitness, healthy eating, and stress management. Yep. For questions, see Ms. Mink. We'll meet every Monday at the beginning of LAP in room 3318. Attention all junior and senior girls. There will be a breast cancer awareness assembly in the auditorium during fourth period today to teach life-saving prevention tools and increase education on the most common form of cancer in women. All junior and senior girls must attend unless you have turned in a signed permission slip from your parent or guardian stating otherwise. Do you like Krispy Kreme donuts? Don't we all? The Academy of Finance is selling Krispy Kreme donuts by the box under the grand staircase today. They will be available for pickup on Friday, April 28th in the principal's team room. We have a large variety including glazed, chocolate, and filled donuts with your choice of raspberry, lemon, or cream. Money is collected at the time orders are taken and let your parents and friends know and place their orders. The Academy of Finance appreciates your support. Attention students and staff, did you read 26 or more books this year? If so, make sure you turn in your list to the Media Center to join the Readers Make Leaders celebration. The forms are due by next Monday, April 24th. Planning on going to prom? You must be obligation free in order to purchase prom tickets. Please stop by the business office before school, during lap or after school to take care of your obligations. Tickets will be going on sale starting this Monday, April 24th. It's finally time. The Science National Honor Society <coughs> applications are now available for pickup. Stop by the Science Office, room 3221, and pick one up. They are due back to Ms. Leffler by Wednesday, May 10th. How good are you when it comes to recognizing famous quotes? Let's practice. Who said, you're the dancing queen, young and sweet, only 17? The answer is 1970s disco group ABBA. Leo Delai and I went out to find out. Let's take a look. I'm going to give you a quote, and you're going to have to guess who said it, all right? Okay. I failed over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. I have no idea. Oh, that's easy. Um, that's like uh, Martin Luther King. Or Albert Einstein or something. LeBron. He's saying more. Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan. It's either Michael or Kobe. Either Usain Bolt, Magic Johnson, Kobe Bryant, or Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Usain Bolt. Michael Jordan? No. Michael! Michael! It was Michael! Yeah, it was that. Michael! Jordan! Oh. <laughs> Did I get it right? An eye for an eye will only make the whole world blind. Oh, that's uh, Gandhi? That MLK? You made a quote? You said that. Ray Charles. What an idiot. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> We're done. Who's <It> gone? <laughs> Several bad puns later. Okay, get ready, get ready, get ready. Einstein. Gandhi. Gandhi, good job. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right, all right. Gandhi, you already know, man. No. It was Gandhi? Wait, but Gandhi wanted, like, peace and stuff. An eye for an eye will only make the whole world blind. It was Gandhi. I walk slowly, but I never walk backward. Oh, that's easy. Harriet Tubman. Malcolm X. Oh, Barack Obama. 
Thomas Jefferson. Abraham Lincoln. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. Abe Lincoln, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Abe Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Good job. Barack Obama. Abraham Lincoln. Umar Boo. Lincoln. Who do you think? Who do you think said this? Flow like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I know this now. Uh, Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Muhammad Ali. Like Muhammad Ali. Like a bee. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. We know that one, bro. We know Muhammad Ali. From there to here, and here to there, funny things are everywhere. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. Yeah. Dr. Seuss? Hey, I'm done. Oh, Dr. Seuss. That, am I right? Hey, that, that, that man was crazy. Uh, Dr. Seuss? They don't like to see you winning. They want to see you in a penitentiary. Black! Black! Kodak Black! It's the wrong, it's the wrong quote. It's, they don't want to see you winning. They don't want to see you with that tunnel vision. My man Kodak Black. The finesse kid. Kodak Black. I <laughs> Tomorrow marks the 47th anniversary of Earth Day. It started in 1970, a time when Americans were driving gas-guzzling V8s, slurping leaded gas, and the word environment was heard in spelling bees, but not on the news. We're still dealing with the ravages of countless years of abuse on Mother Earth. Today, we have two students joining us, Ogechi Osuchi and Erica Nwoga, that would like to share some reasons to celebrate Earth Day tomorrow. So as you guys may know, Saturday is Earth Day, and as part of our environmental campaign, we'll be reading an excerpt by Rachel Carson's Silent Spring. The most alarming of all man's assaults upon the environment is the contamination of air, earth, rivers, and sea with dangerous and even lethal materials. This pollution is for the most part irrecoverable. The chain of evil initiates not only in the world that must support life, but in living tissues is for the most part irreversible. In this now universal contamination of the environment, chemicals are the sinister and little recognized partners of radiation in changing the very nature of the world, the very nature of its life. This is a serious issue. There are many ways you can help celebrate tomorrow. Plant a tree, ride your bike, or walk to the store. Turn off your lights, think about and help save the earth. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Leo. Didn't get a chance to participate in Unity Day? Well, you missed out on a fantastic event showcasing all of the beautiful diversity at Paint Branch. Jasmine Hubbard went out to catch the experience. Let's take a look. Definitely in this school, it's very open to diversity, especially in ninth grade when I did come out. All right, I love tonight. Everyone's showing off their cultures, man. We're all, we're all brothers and sisters tonight. Diversity is shown in our backgrounds because we go to a school with like a bunch of different races, a bunch of different people and age groups. Everybody just need to get along together and help each other out. Uh, diversity to me is the coming together of all the races uh, for one goal, for us to understand each other and love each other and love our differences. The key to living life is having an open mind. Open mindedness is the key. It was amazing, it was amazing. Um, it celebrated everyone as people, um, the way they are, the different unique aspects that makes them who they are. I think unity is basically forgetting our differences and coming together as a group and seeing how we're more similar than we think. Unity Day! Unity Day! Unity Day! Unity Day! Unity Day. Unity Day. Unity Day. Now it's time for the poem of the day. It's called Earth Day by Jane Yolen. I am the earth and the earth is me, each blade of grass, each honey tree. Each bit of mud and stick and stone is blood and muscle, skin and bone. 
And just as I need every bit of me to make my body fit, so Earth needs grass and stone and tree and things that grow here naturally. That's why we celebrate this day. That's why across the world we say, as long as life as dear as free, I am the Earth and the Earth is me. That was a beautiful poem, Caleb. Let's take a look at this weekend's weather. Saturday looks cloudy with a high of 61 and a low of 46. Sunday looks rainy with a high of 59 and a low of 48. Well, that is all we have for you today, Panther. See you back here tomorrow, uh, back here on Monday, for another mellow edition of your Panther Report. Remember, we're all in this together, and you stay classy, Pam Branch. There's a reason for the sunshine sky.